As the leaders in EV charging, over the last decade, we've installed thousands of single and three-phase chargers in homes and businesses across Australia and New Zealand. Using this experience, we wanted to help you understand the difference between the two different power supplies and things to consider when you're thinking about installing either a single phase or three phase EV charger. First off, what is single and three phase power? Essentially, when you hear the terms single or three phase, it's referring to your home or workplace or business energy power source. But more specifically, it's referring to the number of conductors or number of wires that your home or business electrical power runs through. We won't go into all the details, but suffice to say, most homes will have a single phase, with larger homes and some newer homes with centralized air conditioning systems, sometimes having three phase. If you go to a public place like a workshop, supermarket or office building, they would normally have three phase power. The easiest way to tell is to look at your home switchboard and see if you can see something that is labeled the main switch or main circuit breaker. If it looks like a single pole, then you have single phase. And if you have something that looks like three poles put together, then you have three phase. If your house has three phase and your car can receive three phase charging from an AC charger, then you'll have the capacity to charge faster. When it comes to the differences in charging speeds and power, generally speaking, single phase can provide up to seven kilowatts via a dedicated AC home charger and will supply up to 40 kilometers of range per hour. Three phase can provide up to 22 kilowatts via a dedicated AC home charger and will supply up to 100 kilometers of range per hour. This also depends on the car's maximum charging rate. Cars charging on three phase commonly charge at a maximum of 11 kilowatts, but there are a few important potential limitations to note here. Your EV might not be able to accept 22 kilowatts, it may only be able to accept seven kilowatts. If using universal or socketed chargers, your charging cable may have a limited rating below your car's capability. Some vehicles may be able to take full advantage of single phase charging while offering a limited rate via three phase charging. It's always best to check your EV's manufacturer specifications regarding charging capabilities. But in some circumstances, Three phase power is a brilliant EV charging power source. For example, if you already have three phase power at your home or business and your charger, your cord and your EV will allow you to charge higher than seven kilowatts, then it can make sense. Another reason that you may want to install three phase power at your home is that you have multiple EVs and chargers and you're required to charge them at the same time. When it comes to making the decision to install or not install three-phase power in your home or business, we would always advise to talk to an EV charging expert before you go ahead with the purchase. The cost of installing three-phase power in your home or business is a case-by-case -case exercise. And we again recommend that you approach an EV charging expert to arrange a quote. But as you can imagine, having a licensed electrician install a new power source in your home or business can come at a cost. Something that can be missed, but can also be quite important, is that although three-phase power can be a faster way to charge, the vast majority of EV users don't require their home charging to be at this faster rate. You often plug in and charge overnight, and a single-phase seven kilowatt home charger will do this well for most applications. If you would like any further information about what we've covered here, please get in touch or visit us at jetcharge.com.au. And remember to use the discount code in the video notes to receive a discount on your next purchase. We look forward to creating an electric future together. <laughs>